uh, Reed Hastings at the Wired uh, Business Conference. So Reed, uh, you had a pretty good quarter recently, and uh, your business is transitioning from DVD to streaming. Um, where are you in that transition? Well, streaming is the core of our business, and it's growing incredibly rapidly. For just $7.99 a month, the consumer can stream as much movies and TV shows as they want. So it's a pretty incredible deal. And uh, what about the, the fourth quarter, streaming uh, over past DVD in terms of so hours? Streaming uh, is uh, much bigger than DVD for us now in terms of hours of viewing, in terms of focus, in terms of growth. And DVD is still a great business. But streaming is an even greater business. And what we're seeing is this massive consumer adoption of streaming. It's not only helping Netflix, it's helping YouTube, it's helping Hulu. Uh, so there's just a lot of activity happening with internet video. So there was a, the stat a, a while ago that at uh, prime time, Netflix represented you know, some enormous portion of bandwidth in the US. I think it was as much sure. as a quarter or, or as much. Uh, yeah, that's a little misrepresented because Netflix is a big part of residential bandwidth or last mile bandwidth, as is YouTube or Hulu. But because all of us cache our content around the edge, on the true internet backbone, uh, there's almost no video going over that. Uh, it's Skype video, which is real time does, but for the most part, we are around the edge. And that way you get great performance uh, for all of our subscribers, and that, that makes the whole system work well. And we're still in the early days of people adopting streaming. The question I'm getting at here is, uh, you know, as more people uh, adopt it, do you see any sort of technical limitations or, you know, already in Canada people are talking about caps? Oh, no, there's know. no limitations. I mean, a decade ago, everyone had AOL dial-up, and it was, you know, and <laughs> your modem connecting. That was 10 years ago. And, you know, now we've all got 10 or 20 megabits. And in another 10 years, we'll all have a gigabit to the house. I mean, look at what Google is doing with the Google Access program in Kansas City, you know, putting fiber to every home in Kansas City. It's just absolutely amazing. So bandwidth is continuing to grow at an incredible pace. And you're, uh, you're experimenting with uh, funding some original programming uh, now with, uh, what is it, uh, Kevin Spacey? Not exactly. What we're doing is licensing. So licensing. Media Rights Capital, an emerging studio, put together a great TV show, House of Cards, starring Kevin Spacey. And we agreed to license the content for our platform. Exclusively. Uh, uh, that's right, exclusively and in the premiere window. So it'll first show on Netflix. And that's why people say it's original. But it's not us that created it. Uh, we just agreed to license it. Right, but just like on HBO, they have original programming, and that's one of the big draws uh, of HBO or, or any other network, uh, are you sort of thinking more along, you know, thinking of yourself as a network and, and maybe you will, uh, you'll supplement your offerings now with original programming that will anchor, you know, some of the audience? Well, what we really want to do is get content that our subscribers love and the more content we get that our subscribers love, the better. And we think they're going to love House of Cards, so that's why we got it. But no, it's no big strategy shift, it's an evolution. Uh, in what we're doing with one part of our content. And mostly we're an incredible buyer of, uh, we just put up Glee and, you know, we've got Mad Men coming uh, in July. So we're going to have all four seasons of Mad Men. It's just going to be great. Okay. And final question. A lot of media companies are uh, trying to figure out, you know, how to apply subscription business models to other devices beyond, um, you know, beyond web or beyond print. I'm thinking about newspaper companies. You have a very simple model, as you said in the beginning of this interview, that it's you know, eight dollars and above, and and uh, you know you pay once and you eat as much as you can. Uh, what is your view on you know, what's the most appealing business model for other media companies? Is that just something that's right for Netflix, or can other media companies learn from that? Well, you know, each company and each market's a little bit different. With Netflix, we focus on the eight dollar a month. And it's unlimited no matter what devices you use it on, a TVs, laptop, pads, phones. And the only limit is it's one person at a time or one stream at a time. But other than that, it's completely unlimited. And we think that just makes for a simple proposition. Other media companies may go other directions. Okay, thank you.